rescuing storm-tossed lives for Christ. This has been the mission of the Lighthouse Children's Home of Costa Rica since it was founded in 1989. Scores of abandoned, abused, neglected, or orphaned children have found both a haven and a home at the Lighthouse. Built upon the foundation of the solid rock, the Lord Jesus Christ, our greatest desire for each child is that he or she come to an understanding of the gospel and personally trust Christ for salvation. Then our desire is to train them in the Word of God in the hope that they will mature into adults that serve and love the Lord Jesus Christ and seek to glorify Him in their lives. We strive to accomplish this through teaching them the Word of God in daily devotions, scripture memorization, in our own Christian school, and in regular church involvement and attendance. Our reward is best expressed in the words of the Apostle John in 3 John verse 4 when he says, I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Hello, my name is Daniel. I came to the home when I was nine. I am thankful to the Lord for bringing me to this home where I could hear about Christ and be saved at age 14, then later allowing me to go on missions trips and, and, sing, and see people give their lives to Christ. God used that to give, to give me a burden in my heart for evangelism. Now I am finishing up my Bible college stu studies and with the help of God's people, I hope to be the first full-time evangelist in all of Central America. I came to Costa Rica as a missionary in 1985 and for four years taught, taught children's ministries in a Bible seminary. During that time, the Lord kept burdening my heart to start a home for children who needed a permanent place to grow up. In 1989, the Lord made it possible and I received my first three children from the government. A few years later, with seven children and a need for more space, we were praying for God's direction, and the Lord brought Larry and Paula Neff into our lives. Believing it was God's will that we partnered together, Brother Neff began raising money in the States. Later, we purchased property and built our current home. God has been good, and over the years, other buildings have been added. Even greater than the material blessings are the lives that God has molded through this ministry and today are serving Him. David Mora, who came into the home at age five, is married and has two precious children. He graduated with his bachelor's degree from a Bible college here in Costa Rica and earned a master's degree from a seminary in the States. He is now a professor of the Bible college where he attended here in Costa Rica and the associate pastor of his church, serving in the area of music, translating, audio, video, and preaching. Diana came into the home at age seven months and felt called to missions as a teenager. After graduating high school, she served several years on the mission field and then went on to Bible college and earned her degree. She has been a missionary to the Indian tribe of Panama, working with women and children for many years as well as helping in the Lighthouse Children's Home of Panama. Well, my name is Jimmy McQuatter, so I came to the home when I was three years of age. Along with my two siblings, we were adopted. Sally Sanders came into the Lighthouse Children's Home. Um, I was saved at the age of seven. Uh, and one of the things that I'm thankful for at the home is we don't see the home as just a ministry, but also as a family. Uh, one of the things that I'm thankful for besides uh, shelter, food on our table, clothes on our backs, education, was the fact that we were taught the Word of God. Uh, we were taught the Bible. 
and that's something that I greatly appreciate from the home. Uh, at the age of 18, after I graduated high school, the Lord gave me the opportunity to uh, go to Bible college, um, uh, study as a youth mate. Uh, ever since I've been back, I've been serving in our home church uh, faithfully with the song leading, uh, translating, preaching, whatever needs to be done. Uh, the Lord has given me that privilege, and all that thanks to the White House Children's Home for, for everything that they have provided and given me throughout the years. We are now working with another generation of children and need the Lord to continue raising up people like you to partner with us as we seek to shape another generation for Christ. Thank you for prayerfully considering this ministry.